guys, today I'm doing a bucket plugin showcase tutorial on Cookie Monster. So this has to be my favourite plugin of all time, purely because it's so configurable and um, it's just really awesome for any type of server to be honest. Uh, so let's get into it. So this plugin allows you to um, set rewards for killing uh, mobs and humans, um, like real players, uh, that includes money or items and you can set them at a percentage chance so let's get into it so if I kill this spider here uh, you will see that a uh, message pops up which is configurable uh, it says you are rewarded £1.73 pence for killing the spider now um, I have already configured um, this chicken to drop diamonds when it's killed so here it is so if we look in our inventory now we can see it drops a diamond so there is a certain percentage to drop that uh, and you can set how many is the maximum to drop. Uh, here we have a sheep which is passive so it drops um, same thing but doesn't actually give you any money and finally you can stop people from uh, getting a reward if they kill something with a special item. So if I kill a creeper with a bow which is kind of cheating because you need to get up close to it. Uh, so there we go there is no reward for killing a creeper with a bow. Um, that's obviously uh, too easy. I'm going to give them a bit of a challenge. So um, that's all that's in game really. You can do CM, uh, you can do CM reload. And uh, let's go into the configuration file uh, and edit some things. So we are now in the configuration file and there is a lot, as you can see, that can be configured. So first of all we're just going to um, configure the messages. Uh, this is very simple, I'll only show you one. So you could uh, possibly add um, a prefix, so if your server's called, I don't know, Ulnacraft, my old server, add a prefix like that. You can change the colour here, uh, make it look nicer, so gold obviously looks nice, 6, uh, 7, finally 6, so we will see that in game. Uh, you can change what it says uh, for penalty. So, for example, this um, is killing a monster. So there we go with an, an item um, like that. So that's very uh, simple. Here, this is um, the most interesting part. Uh, with drops, you can change um, what uh, something can drop. So let's go with cow. So let's go down. Make sure you don't use tab. Uh, you paste that in there and now we, we're free to edit it. So here we go, um, you can edit the percentage, this means the number that is dropped. So um, here, uh, whatever 344 three, four is would be dropped and there's a 10% chance of that happening. So let's go with, um, what do we know, so 1 is obviously stone, 100%. At um, 20. Uh, let's go with two. Uh, yep, keep that like that. And let's go with uh, five, like that. So there we go. Uh, lots of different items. Let's go with four cobblestone. So when we kill the cow, we'll get this. Uh, let's scroll down and uh, see some other things. So villager, you could you can also set uh, minus numbers. So maybe minus two thousand for killing a villager, and uh, possibly for killing sheep, you can just copy and paste coins and it will know that, oh that was wrong, make sure you go right to the edge before doing that and maybe you could get, I don't know, 2000 money for killing uh, a sheep, there you go, right here we go, on to the PvP, so uh, here you will see player somewhere, uh, probably near the bottom, where is player, here we go, so for player uh, let's have a look. So maybe from fifty pounds to a thousand pounds. So this would be quite in interesting uh, on any prison server, to be honest, uh, because uh, it would make PvP a lot more dangerous, uh, or a faction server for that matter. So uh, yeah, it will choose a random amount between those two uh, numbers, and yeah, that's what happens. Here we are in game, we have reloaded and now here is made, I'm going to kill him and here we go, so we can see what's happened. So it says, you're penalized for, for killing uh, made during spawn protection, okay, 
and uh, also custom messages. And here we go, the main thing that we set up, so if you kill a sheep, you get this lovely message. So all the craft, you are awarded £2,000 for killing the sheep. And also if you kill um, a cow, we set all these blocks to drop, so we get uh, all of these. And uh, you can see this here, it's really cool. So I've removed the spawn protection, and now you can see I'm getting money um, between £20 and £3,000, I believe. Uh, I set the spawn protection to one second, but you can disable it. We have a lovely message here um, that's from another plugin, and yeah, it's it's uh, a really good plugin. The final thing is uh, you can set regions. So if you do forward slash cm, uh, you can set a region. So if you grab a wand and uh, yeah, let's go in here. Uh, why not? So let's set a regions with world edit and do. CM uh, region uh, define and then let's call it um, test there we go so we've saved a region so now if we push some of these sheep into the region that we just set we are getting absolutely no money for killing them so uh, this is a really really cool plugin download link below and subscribe as always uh, I uh, what's today today it is probably Sunday today uh, I have a new mic on Saturday, I'm recording this on Friday, and you'll see me next on Monday, ta -ra. Thanks for watching this tutorial guys, why not click one of the other videos on the left or the right to check out some of my other plugins that I reviewed. As always, subscribe, like and comment. Cheers.